The only civilizations that ever reach a very high standard of prosperity and democracy, they all had one in common. They were Judeo-Christian societies, like United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Denmark, Norway, C Sweden, United Kingdom, Switzerland. Now, traitors, liberal democratic governments, they are betraying those values they are opening the door to Islam and they are destroying the civilizations that were once upon a time the most prosperous civilizations in the history of humanity. And it's part of because of this spirit, is the curse of Islam, is a fake uh, religion. When you look at Islam, there is not a single prosperous democratic Islamic nation. There are about 50 nations worldwide where Islam is a majority. All Islamic nations are third world countries involved in poverty, dictatorship, civil war, look at Afghanistan, look at uh, Yemen, look at Libya, look at all of those countries. To me, what about the Emirates? Th that's just a tiny nation. They never had anything. Their only resources are oil. They never invented medical innovation, any technical innovation, never invented cure for cancer. They never developed uh, energy efficient homes or electric cars, nothing. It was just oil. That, and they have built all of those mega high-rise buildings with uh, slave labor from the Philippines and India. It's, it's a fake first world country. They are a dictatorship. And there are other like 35 countries that are not Islamic nations, but they have a high percentage of Islamic population. It can be 20 to all the way 35%. But also, it seems that once they arrive to the threshold of barely 10% of your population, they destroy your civilization. And this is pretty much what they have been doing to the West. So to understand what's happening right now in the Middle East, we need to understand what happened thousands of years ago with ancient prophecy. Uh, going all the way back to Cain, uh, part of the punishment of Cain is that he was going to live in a wasteland. His land was not going to yield anything and it was going to be in the East. When the Bible talks about the East, usually it's a reference of whatever is East of Israel. Israel comes from the line of Abraham, Yitzhak and Jacob. Abraham was blessed. He was a follower of the Almighty. He kept the commandments. Yitzhak was blessed. Jacob was blessed. The people of the Bible had been blessed. The nation comes out of a blessing, 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 blessing. When you look at Islamic peoples, they identify with Ishmael. It was prophesied that he was going to be a wild man. And Isa too was prophesied that he was going to be a slave and a wild man. Uh, they come from uh, Ishmael that was cursed, and they come from Isa that was cursed. All of the Islamic nations are destroyed nations, they are waste deserts, there's nothing grows there, they have inherited the curse of Cain. Pray against the invasion of Islam, witness to the truth, and share the truth. Stay tuned, this is Messianic News Channel.